In this video, we're going to be using 345 Soap Company Banana Rama and the Mula Rocker Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I'm very excited today to be using for the first time 345 Soap Company Banana-O-Rama. I bought this at the Razor Company. Great price on this $16.95 for 5.8 ounces or on a cost chart there an exceptional price of $2.92 per ounce. This is a tallow-based soap. We'll show you the ingredients right there on the screen. Trinity base. You have several uh, milks in it. It is a very good quality soap at a very good price. And the scent on this, I just love it. It is a fun scent. It is banana, orange, and cream. And on the scent strength chart, which I'll show you right there, we're right in the CDB middle zone. It is bright. It is fun. And I really look forward to using it <laughs> today. It smells really, really nice. Just one of those fun scents. It doesn't take itself too seriously. Um, I think I'm really going to enjoy it. The razor for today is the Mula Roca, which is an Oroca, however you say that. It's an all stainless steel razor. This is the R96 version, and this runs about $103 or so. And I'll show you the main thing that's different about this razor than pretty much any other razor, in that it has no rinse ports on it. We're using a Gillette Nasset blade in there, and it has no rinse ports, but that's not a problem. And honestly, if, if you are a daily shaver or you're not shaving like a week's worth of growth or two weeks, rinsing shouldn't be an issue. If your lather has enough hydration in it, um, it should rinse clean through the through the gap there with no problem whatsoever. We'll try it out today. We didn't have any problem the last time we used it and I don't expect to today either. Let's go ahead and get started. This is just plain water and I have a little under 24 hours growth today, but you can see a little of that salt there. I'm shaving early because I got a busy day at work in store. And there is a magnificent creamy lather. And we used our AP Shave Co. Handcrafted Series brush here. And man, this just smells great. It's just a fun, fun scent. It's bright, it's invigorating, and I just think it's gonna be wonderful today. And I hope you all, wherever you are, wherever you are, are having a great day so far. And when I smell scents like this, it's just, I don't know, it's fun. It makes me happy, you know? and use whatever type of scents you like. If you don't like fruity scents or food scents, don't use them. Um, if you like floral scents, you know, Marion loves to rock the the uh, honeysuckle and he loves it and that is great for him. We crack on him a little bit out of good fun, but he loves it and he's just not shy away from loving it and, and I respect that. If you like, like something, you know, you stand for it and Marion certainly stands for that honeysuckle. I don't care for that scent, but he loves it and it's one of his favorite scents and uh, he never backs down. You know, he's like, hey, I love it. It's great. And that's the way you should be too. Don't let anybody tell you that you should be, shouldn't be using a particular type of scent. It's up to you. Whatever you like is whatever you like. You know me, I don't really like a lot of fall darker scents and I don't wear them. And it's just, you know, I don't like them. Life is too short to use things that you don't like and do not allow anybody else to to sort of uh, push you out of liking the things that you like regardless of how much fun they have with you about it because this type of scent right here is right up my alley I love it it's banana cream and orange and it smells great and so let's get started here with a Mula Roca or Roca and it feels pretty efficient this is a brand new Gillette Nasset blade you do get some blade feel and as you can see, that razor rinses fine with no problems whatsoever. I think I heard uh, John Shaves, he was talking about this razor. And of course, everybody's entitled to their opinion and I'm not taking a shot at uh, John here, but he didn't like that there were, the fact that there were no lather rinse ports. And again, what I would say is if your lather is hydrated enough, it won't be a problem. The only exception to that would be if you're shaving maybe a full beard, then you might run the risk of it clogging, but on daily growth or even, even a couple days growth, unless your lather is too dry and it's sticky, it'll rinse right out with no problem whatsoever. As you can see there, it's rinsed and clean every single time, no clogging, no problem. I think um, we get hung up on 
things like rinse ports, and I think they look cool. That's the main thing. And water does come out of them, so they do help. But ultimately, and you could see a little bit of uh, stubble in there. Um, quick rinse, rinse is clean every single time. So I would not be concerned about the rinse on this razor unless, again, unless you're shaving many, many days of growth. But even then there's, um, I think there's enough gap on this razor to where it, it will probably rinse clean anyway. It's not a cart razor, you know, so carts have a tendency because the blades are so close together, that's why they don't rinse well, but DE razors mostly will rinse just fine. And you know, as you can see, there's just a quick burst of water. Rinse is fine every single time. So I would, uh, if that's been a concern of yours, I wouldn't worry about it. This razor has sort of a minimalist design to it. You know, that's the kind of the point of the razor is to not have a lot of extra, you know, gizmos and gadgets or look, sorry, my nose is itching though. Man, very, very nice. First pass was really, really excellent. Excellent. This is an efficient razor, at least medium efficient, if not more, I think. And it feels great. And I tell you what, the soap today just, if, if you're not opposed to fruity scents, and some people are, you know, some people just don't find fruity scents to be appealing. There's some men who uh, especially find this to be the case. And just like some men don't like florals. And I'm in the case that I don't care for a lot of florals. And it has nothing to do with, again, I want to make a point here. It has nothing to do with being macho or masculine. Um, I just don't like the scent of florals on me. I do like them on other people. They just, they don't go well with me. But this type of scent, I love. And so use whatever you like. And, you know, don't let feelings of being macho dissuade you from it or worrying about somebody saying that's not a masculine scent. Don't worry about it. Wear it confidently and say, yeah, I'm wearing some banana rama. <laughs> I don't care. What are you going to do about it? You know? <laughs> oh, man, this is a good scent. Whew. So enjoyable. And the lather quality, fantastic. Fantastic. Again, if you get your lather hydrated, it will rinse from anything easily. Straight razor, DE, you know, cart, just about anything. The Probably the most difficult rinse is the cart because the blades are just so close together. It tends to trap stubble and stuff in there. But with DEs, it's really not a problem. Rinsing should never be a problem. If it is a problem, get more hydration in your lather and you'll find that it won't be. Because I have never had a problem with a, a DE razor clogging ever and so don't let little things like that the visuals unless you just don't like the way it looks that's fine you don't you know but don't let the idea that it's not going to rinse put you off because it will if you uh get the leather hydrated enough to where it's not sticky oh man that's nice and man nice scent coming off the soap i tell you it's just really enjoyable today Great scent on this soap. Now, the last time I used 345, I used Hometown. It turned out not to be for me. This time, it's not a miss. It is a hit. <laughs> and this one wasn't part of the subscription offering. I bought this one from the Razor Company. And I bought the Splash, too. So we'll follow up with that. And yes, I will uh, I will put on the Bananarama Splash. And I am in the office today, so I will wear it in the office proudly. And I don't care what anybody has to say about it. And you shouldn't either. Wear whatever you like. Wear what makes you happy. What's enjoyable. Very nice. We're just going to do a little cross the grain work with our residual slickness left behind by the 345, which there's plenty of. Very nice. Very nice. And again... No rinsing problems. You don't see a lick of anything stopping that up, nor should you. If, if things are lathered properly, no problem. No problem whatsoever. All right, very nice. Very nice, plenty of slickness on this soap and it smells spectacular to me. Very, very nice. Just one of these fun, enjoyable shaves on a day where I know I'm gonna be quite busy in the office. 
So I'm starting out my morning right with something that, you know, brings a smile to the face. And you just can't put a value on that sort of thing. Um, for me, when you use something that brings a smile to your face, it's, you know, whether other people like it or not, they don't have to wear it, you know? So you're the one wearing it. Use it proudly and enjoy it. That's the main thing. Just enjoy yourself. yourself. Life is too short to be bitter and angry and fighting with people all the time. You know, we're, we're seeing that still going on in certain places and it's really unfortunate and it's an embarrassment, quite frankly, for people to be treating one another that way. Uh, it's very disappointing, but you know, we're not gonna focus on that. Um, but I urge you folks to just enjoy yourself. Find the things that you have in common and embrace those common things. Because again, there's, there's many, many problems that people have that are real um, serious problems and um, you know take take the opportunity to embrace common ground where you can and I tell you what today's shave was just spectacular the Roca doing great job the Gillette Nasset blade which I like a lot doing a great job I'm wielding the razor properly I hope in terms of not having any nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, and troubles. And overall, just fantastic. I just tremendous fun, and I hope you'll have fun uh, with your shaves as well. All right, let me uh, rinse, and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, and then we applied our alum. No stinging, so that was a super smooth shave. Following the alum, we did a cold water rinse, and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's Cucumber Magic, because it's made by witches. I had an excellent shave today with 345 Soap Company Banana Rama. Again, I picked this up at the Razor Company. Absolutely love it. If you like sweet, fruity scents, this one is awesome. Big thumbs up for me. I enjoyed it. I also enjoyed the Mula Raka or Roca. I'm not sure how you say that. Medium aggressive shaver. I wouldn't say the entry level of medium. I'd say probably the far, the far end of medium. Terrific shaver with the Nasset blade today. And again, no rinse problems whatsoever. Doesn't have rinse ports, but if you've got the lather right, it'll rinse, it'll rinse. So do not worry about that. We used our AP Shave Co. brush and of course our Captain's Choice copper bowl. And we're gonna close things out today with the 345 Banana Rama splash. And we're gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna be feeling good, smiling, being invigorated. Remember folks, be good to one another. You only have this one life. There's no use in being bitter and angry and tearing people down. Try to be as decent and uplifting as you can. And woo wee, that smells great. I tell you what, <laughs> it's been a fun shave today. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.